Hello, I'm Monsi, and I'm your best friend. The Secret Helper. One of the beetles was telling me a story this morning. Yesterday, he was lost in the woods and had no idea how to get home. He was scared. Suddenly, he noticed that someone left a path for him made out of arrows. The weird thing is, he never found out who it was. You know, something like that happened to me. I was swinging and the rope broke. I wasn't sure what to do, so I went to get Weeby. By the time we got back, someone had fixed the swing. We asked around, but nobody knew who had fixed it. It's kind of a mystery. How exciting! A secret helper. Yeah, maybe it's an elf. <laughs> right, because they exist. <laughs> I think we should find out who the secret helper is. You're right. That's a great idea. Hey, guess what, you guys? The secret helper is back. He just fixed Poopsie's scooter. Poopsie, you're in the way. Yeah, we can't see anything. <gasps> the agony! Someone help me! I've never felt so much pain! I might not ever walk again! Come on out. It didn't work. He didn't show up. Well, we found something out. He knew that you were acting. Weeby's right, you guys. He did know. Then that means the secret helper's one of us. Well, then I know who it is. It's Moonzy. Look at him. Of course. It's Moonzy. Dottie, it's not me. Honest. Good for you. Hooray! Let's hear it for Moonzy. We should have known that it was him all along. Hooray! Come on, guys. Stop. I'm not the helper. Yay! Yay! Secret helper. Yeah, yeah, Moonzy! You're, You're the, the best! You're awesome! Moonzy, we just heard. It was you. Thanks for your help. But there's been a mistake. There's a hero. Great work, my boy. I don't know how you collected all that honey by yourself. Heck, it would take me the entire day. You have the wrong person. He's always been this humble. Well done, Moonzy. It's okay. You don't have to keep it a secret. Hooray! Let's hear it for Moonzy. Huh? No, please, just listen. Moonzy! 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 He's telling the truth. It can't be Moonzy. It's someone else. The secret helper is still at large. He's right. The bridge is fixed. Over the creek. Moonzy's been with you the whole time, right? Well, uh, yes. Whoever it is, I'm sure he knows we're grateful. He loves to help. So let him. We all win. Well, I'll be. The boy's right. Uh-huh. We don't need to know who he is. I guess not. Let him be. Well, thanks for letting your help. Thank you. It's so hot out. I can't wait to swim. I am the world's greatest super caterpillar. No, clearly I'm the greatest super caterpillar. No way. Me. Don't you dare stick your tongue out at me. Come back here. Whoops, it looks like they forgot to take this. How would it be a secret helper? Ah, ah, Mr. Diggins can't find his new glasses. Well, off we go. I never would have guessed it was them. Not in a million years. Shouldn't we tell them that we know? But I think that's the whole point. The secret helper should remain a secret. All right? Moonsy and Skip decided not to tell the others what they had learned, and Whoopsie and Poopsie went on secretly helping the world, one good deed at a time. Hello, I'm Moonsy, and I'm your best friend. A real actor. Doodle deedle do. I can dance the boogaloo. My little legs are light. Just stop it. You're not an actor. Aww. Papa doodle deedle do. I can dance.
against the boogaloo. My little legs are lithe. On my shoulder, there's a scythe. Get a rooster! Oh, yeah! Papa Deedle Doodle Dee! Bad fox, it's time to flee! Ah! Thank you, heroic blade rooster. Bravo, Skip! A great play! A great actor! He was fine, but I could have done better. Have you lost your mind? Skip's a great actor! You're just jealous. Yes, yeah, Skip! What an awesome performance! All right! My darling grandchild, come and give your granny a squeezy poo! Me. Oh, dear. My own grandson doesn't even recognize his old grandma. Hey, no, no, don't cry. I swear everything's all right. Darling Poopsie recognized me right away. Then he ran off to pick some berries for Granny. He is such a lovely lad. Hello there, Little Red Riding Hood. Hello there, Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> And where are you going? I'm off to see my granny. Skip, Moonsy, I'd like for you to meet my grandmother. She's going to stay a while. Hello. Hello there. Hang on now. Are you the Skip who I've heard so much about? The talented actor who performs so wonderfully? Yeah, oh yeah. He's the most awesome the stage has ever known. Don't be silly. Come on. I act a little bit. Well, we won't disturb you anymore. You just keep rehearsing and we'll just watch. I would love to visit your dear granny, too. Why don't you take this path and I'll take the other? Oh, who would act like that? I would have played that quite differently. <sighs> yeah? And what would you have done? Why don't you just show us? Good idea. All right. This is how it should be done. <laughs> I would also like to pay a visit to your sweet granny. Why don't you take that path over there, and I will go on this one. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're mine! <gasps> that was amazing! Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! That's my granny! Bravo! Mm. <laughs> right, let's move on. Come a little closer, my darling girl. Grandmother, hmm? what big, strong, hairy arms you have. Better to hug you with, darling grandchild. Grandmother, what a lot of very sharp teeth you have in the your better mouth. to gobble you up with, my dear. You're gonna taste good. Was oopsie? Yeah. Uh, oopsie! Oh, you're a genius! My brother Skip, is me! I totally think Poopsie should be in our next production. So he's the wolf? No! The grandmother! Ha! <laughs> he does play a grandmother very well. Oopsie spent a great deal of time wondering how he never noticed the great talent that had been right beside him all along. of kindness. Attention, everyone. Your attention, please. We're holding a special contest today, the Acts of Kindness competition. It's open to everyone in the forest. Whoever has the most good deeds under his or her belt by the end of the week will win a spectacular grand prize, while everyone who participates gets a slice of Granny Annie's world-famous cherry vanilla cake. Make sure you come back next week when we announce the winners. Yeah, I wish we could win. Why do you think we can't? 
I'll do anything for ice cream. You know, we gotta be on our best behavior for a whole week. Is that possible? We should do as many good deeds as we can all at once, then win the prize. Hmm. All right. That might work. Hey there, guys. We're here to help you out. That's not good. Wow, what a great deed. Remember this when you go to vote. Hi. Let us do that. Poopsie, go ahead. <laughs> oh, my. Are you two all right? Yeah, we're all right. We just want to win the contest. Ah, you mean the Acts of Kindness competition. Uh-huh. We want to win the grand prize. You two have missed the point altogether. Look what you've done to my garden. You almost destroyed it. That's not helping. It's no act of kindness. An act of kindness comes from the heart. Oh, man. What a waste of time. I know. I really wanted that ice cream. Hey, wait a minute. The cherry cake. That's for everyone. That's right. Let's go get it. Oh, no. My new bag. Someone help. Help me, please. That cake won't wait. But what about my bag? Please don't go. I need your help. We have to go back. Hey, forget that. My parents really need somebody to help them, too. Will you do I'm it? sorry, kid. We gotta go. Huh? All right, kid. Take us to your family. Huh? Huh? Oh. oh, my goodness. Help me, dear. Mom! Thanks so much. I don't know what we... Attention, <laughs> everyone. We have the results of this week's Acts of Kindness competition. And the winner of the grand prize, based on the number of good deeds, is... Moonsy! Hey, come on! <laughs> <laughs> After all that... Whoopsie and Poopsie, where have you been? You guys missed the whole celebration. Well, eh, it doesn't matter. Come on, Poopsie. Whoopsie and Poopsie, I've been looking all over for you. Come back with me. We have a surprise. Everyone's waiting. Is it far? No, not at all. Look, we're here. Huh? Whoopsie and Poopsie, we thank you. What you did was selfless and means the world to us. To show our gratitude, we present you with this special cake. Please, you deserve it. Ah! As Whoopsie and Poopsie enjoyed their special cake, they realized that the best prize was the feeling they got from helping others. Of course, it didn't hurt that the ants sure knew how to bake a cake. Hello, I'm Monsi, and I'm your best friend. Detective. Who's there? Skip? I'm not plain old Skip. I'm a detective. Who? A detective. I investigate crimes. Wait, do you mean there's been a crime here in the forest, Skip? Oh. Nothing's happened yet, but I've got my eye on everyone, just in case it does. Skip, but what are you doing looking at me? You don't think I'm a criminal? Anybody can be a criminal. You're right. There are no criminals in the forest. I just want so badly to be a great detective, though. Is that too much to ask of life? Geography. Weeby, I'm sorry I'm doing this for Skip. He'll have a real-life crime to solve. Right, English is done. No geography homework today, so on to math. Skip, 
Hey, guess what? Somebody in the forest has committed a crime for you to detectivize and stuff. Come on! Oh. <clears throat> hey, guys. What's up, Weeby? Well... What? Anything wrong? Well, I've got lots of homework to do. That's all? Homework's hard? Hmm. Is everything else all right? Yes. I finished my English. I'm doing math now. Listen, Moonzy, I need to work. You really haven't lost anything? No. Like your books, maybe. Have any of your books been stolen? For example, like your geography book? All my books are right here. alleged golden paint. On the table? This is quite a mess. Like they were searching for something, yes. But why bother searching if the paint was sitting in plain sight? Weird. Hmm. Well, the window is open. And if the thief used it, of course they will have left behind some footprints. Ugh! Moonzy, all of these footprints are yours. Hang on. Moonzy, look it. Hey, what do you make of this? The criminal must have left this geography book behind. Which means that the owner is the thief. Moonzy! Guess what? You were asking about my geography textbook. Well, now it's missing. Would you, by any chance, be interested in art? Sure. I really like to draw. And where were you, Weeby, at exactly what time? Right after breakfast. Right. Where were you after breakfast? Doing homework. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. Skip, why are you being like this? Does this geography book look at all familiar, sir? It's mine. But Skip, why would you want to steal it? Me steal? You steal. You're the one who stole Moonzy's paints. You, you're the criminal here. No way, Skip. You better take that lie back. Guys, please quit it. Neither one of you guys stole a single thing. How, How can, can you, you be sure? Oh, uh, well, maybe I just know it, all right? It's like a feeling, you know? I am right, though. It was you who reported that the book was stolen in the very first place, and I found it underneath your window, where the ground was covered with your footprints. All of it's coming together. It was you. What was me? This crime was committed by Moonzy. Oh, right. It was a real crime, and you solved it, Skip. Can someone please tell me exactly what's happening here? Weeby, Moonzy was the one who stole your book. Why did you do it? Yeah, why? Geography's totally boring. And the paint. You must have stolen it from yourself. You stole both things? You're right. Good job, Skip. You solved the crime just like a real detective. Hooray! Moonzy explained how he'd done everything to give Skip the chance to be the real detective he wanted to be. Hello, I'm Moonzy, and I'm your best friend. Archaeologists. Thanks for all your help, Moonzy. I should do well in my gardening class now. I bet I get an A. I don't mind, because I love to garden. Oh my goodness! What the? Moonzy! Ah! Wait! Where are you going? Moonzy? Are you alright? Look at this! Somebody drew some pictures. You know what? I've seen pictures like these before in an archaeology book. Archae who? Archaeologists are people who search for objects from the past. They can find things like vases and spoons, but sometimes they find pictures in caves, like this. Are these from the past? Yes, they were drawn by our ancestors. We made our own archaeological discovery. We did? Oh, look! There is some more over here, but it's so dark I can't see them. Hold on! I know where there's a light. Wait here! Up high! Up high! <laughs> Interesting. I wonder where he's going. Yeah, and why do you think he has that lantern? You keep an eye on him. I'll go get some more lanterns, just in case. Oh, I know. It's a treasure hunt. Come on. Down here. 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. This way. So this is what life was like for them? It looks like they worked hard. But they had fun, too. They really loved to dance. I think that you should have picked the other tunnel, whoopsie. Then go back if you want. I like this one. Quiet. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> what if that's our ancestors? Maybe they still live down here in the cave. Well then, it would... It would... It would be the greatest archaeological discovery in the history of the whole world! We're very sorry to bother you. We just wanted to introduce ourselves. Oh, there they are. Hooray! It's them! We wanted to help you guys. Show us where the treasure is. Why are you shouting? We don't need them. I guess they don't feel like saying hello. Quartz must have found it. They better share! Save some for us! Huh? Mm. All right, where's that treasure? It's gone! Bring it back! is going on? My goodness, it's been a long time since I've seen these. When I was young, I tried to draw what I saw, how people worked and played and had fun. All of it, what you found, kids, is the visual history of our town. And that's how Moonsy and Weeby were credited with uncovering the long-forgotten drawings of Mr. Diggins' childhood. Who knows what other treasures are waiting to be discovered? Hello, I'm Moonsy, and I'm your best friend. Memorabilia. You're doing a fine job, children. All the plants will love it. Before you know it, we'll be surrounded by the fruits of your labor. Oh, my shovel bumped into something. It could be treasure. Huh? I knew it. Hey, guys, we found treasure. What? Huh? What's all this about? Could it be? I think that's my treasure box. I had almost forgotten it. Ooh, my favorite saber. We vanquished countless enemies together. Oh, look at this, my horsey horsey. They were my favorite bestest toys and I love them. If you love them, then how come you buried them? Oh, did your enemies take them? <laughs> Not at all. I just wanted to keep them as mementos. I thought once I was grown, I would dig it up some day and it would bring back childhood memories. And I was right. Charge! I shall defend the realm for the good of all with my trusty steed and my mighty blade! I know! We should totally bury our favorite things as pimentos! I agree! That way when we're all old and grumpy, we can dig it up and smile! And we'll be kids again like Grandpa Stinger! All right, and we won't have to look for a box to put them in because we have this one! We begin the ceremonial burial of all our pimentos. All right, and now we just wait. So nice of you to 
drop by for afternoon tea. Uh, how is it going? I just got my nails painted, and the lady said I uh. have the hands of a superstar, and I was like, oh my god! Dottie! What's that doll doing here? What doll? Are you kidding? That doll ought to be buried in the chest. But I only took it out to play a bit. We made an agreement to only dig it up after all of us were grown-ups, Dottie. But I'll put it back in the box as soon as I finish playing, I promise. You can trust me. <sighs> hey, Weeby! Huh? You won't believe what Dot did! Hey, come back! <laughs> Hear me? I've been chasing you forever. Wait, where did this come from? Nowhere. I don't know. Because it looks a lot like the bucket that's supposed to be in the chest. Sorry, sorry, but there's this big contest to see who can collect pollen the fastest, and I wanted to use my lucky bucket. Hey there, Moonzy. Dottie and Weeby keep getting their things out of the chest. It doesn't mean anything if we don't leave them there for a long time. What is that? What are you hiding? Let me see. Moonzy, not you two. Oh, I'm sorry, Skip. I just wanted to look at my favorite book one more time. It's such a long time until we're old. I don't think I can wait for that long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say, men, what's with all the long faces? It's just we wanted to bury all of our favorite things as pimentos. But we keep digging them up to play with them. Then play with them. I only buried my toys when I didn't play with them anymore. Huh? The whole idea of a memento is that we keep them around to remind us of a different time in our lives. So then, as long as we still want to use our stuff, we don't have to bury them in a chest? Of course not! Oh, yeah! Let's get to the chest! I miss my jump rope so much! Yeah! <laughs> our favorite things make us very happy, whether we're grown up yet or not. <laughs> This is the story of a moonbee. I was born! Who fell down to earth. Let's watch as he makes great friends, finds a family, Hello. and goes on many adventures. Let's see what he's up to today. The perfect house. You have to pay attention and learn all you can in order to become a productive bee. I always pay attention. I see bees! You're a bee. Mm hmm I'm a dream. No, you're not. Because I'm not asleep. What am I? Who knows? I'm a little busy learning to be a bee. Huh? Do you think I could learn how to be a bee, too? Maybe you could. Uh, Thank you. It's so good. Hey, you ate up everything. But I was learning to be a bee. We're supposed to be collecting the nectar, not eating it. I worked so hard on this, and you were it. I'm sorry. It's just that this is all so new to me. Okay, fine. But if you're not gonna collect nectar... Oh. Okay, here you are. Am I a bee now? <laughs> Where do big purple bees come from? The moon. I was born there, then I fell down, and now I'm here. Oh, I get it. A moon bee. That's all right. Where do you live down here? I don't know. Should I live somewhere? Uh, yeah, of course. If not, what would you do when the rains come? I don't know. Say hi. Hi there. Oh. What's up, Weeby? Not much. I see you've met my dream. He's no dream. He's a bee from the moon, and he needs a house. Then let's go. I'll help you. Come on. <clears throat> Wait, I want to come with you guys. Weeby, are you done? No, not yet, not yet. Look at this great place. I don't know. Don't you think it's kind of small? Just take it before someone else does. Oh. Nope. Occupied. Look at all those. They're nice, but I don't know. They're perfect. Oh. I think we should keep looking. There are tons of places around here. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. 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 Oh, I 
I can't feel my legs anymore. Well, any luck? No. Don't bother knocking. No one's home. Yes! Seriously, I think they might fall off. Then what'll you do? It's just a saying. I found it! I found you a house! We be found a house! You two go ahead. I'm sure it's perfect. Strange. Where's the other one? I left it right um, here. Maybe I think someone's in there. Uh, this one is perfect. There's nobody here. I don't know. Look at the sign. Whoa! Oh. Uh, it looks like someone's home after all. Run! Now what's the matter? Uh, whoa. The first houses ran away. Somebody already lived in them. The next was far too terrifying. How do you find a house here? Who knows? I've always had one, since forever. I never had to look for one. I know what to do. We can build one. No way. We don't know how. We can figure it out. <laughs> so the three new we'll friends got right to here. work and found that, yes, together they could figure it out. And with a little creativity and determination, here. it wasn't as hard as they thought. Right. And before they knew it, they had a perfect house. Perfect house. Thank you. It's the most beautiful little house I've ever seen. Well, of course, because we made it ourselves. Weeby, where have you gone? Oh, I guess I better leave. Thanks for helping, Weeby. A good bee learns to work together. See ya. Bye. Goodbye. I might not be good at being a bee, but I think I'm a good friend. Well, I better go. I'm so exhausted. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. <sighs> at last I have my home. <laughs>